Sisters. I am Lulu, she's Azi, she's Kovelu, and that's our brother Haseve. Ise Dao, ya fir Dao bhi kehte hai. Ye mostly Nagaland or North East mein use hota hai. Ye bhoat kaam kaan tiya raha hai. Ek kisi bhi cheez ko ek chhatke mein do tukde kar sakta hai. Ye maha ke aapko har ghar mein mil jayega. Thik vaise hi jase aapke gharo mein nimbu kaatne ke liye chako hota hai. लेकिन नागालैंड के परिवार धाव के साथ साथ कल्चर और ट्रेडिशन को भी बहुत संभाल के रखते हैं तो आज हम आपकी मुलाकात करवाएंगे एक पूरे परिवार से जिन्होंने अपने कल्चर के आपसी रिश्तों को एक तार से मजबूती से जोड़ के रखा हुआ है चलिए थोड़ी सी जानकारी दे देता हूं मैं आपको इनके बारे में इनका नाम है तात्सियो सिस्टर्स और ये नागालैंड से हैं ये पिछले ऑलमोस्ट तीस साल से अपने ट्राइबल कल्चर के फोक सॉन्ग्स पूरी दुनिया को सुना रहे हैं ताकि इनका कल्चर और ट्रेडिशन आने वाली आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के युग में खत्म ना हो जाए आइए मिलते हैं अनसंग इंडिया के एक नए चैप्टर से एक अनसंग फैमिली से सीधा नागालैंड चलते सो कैन यू प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योरसेल्फ वी आर कॉल्ड द थेओ सिस्टर्स वी कम फ्रॉम नागालैंड वी आर फ्रॉम द चाकिसंग ट्राइब एंड वी आर फाइव सिब्लिंग्स वन ब्रदर एंड फोर सिस्टर्स एंड वी सिंग फॉक म्यूजिक that is the music of our people so what folk songs do you usually perform for the audience it's called li li which is the song of our people so we sing in the chokri dialect which is our mother tongue and the songs are about life about people about beauty about positive things and these are traditional folk songs which have been passed down from generation to generation uh truth oral tradition because we don't have a history of uh documentations so what are you performing today when we come out of nagaland we are not just representing nagaland but also the rest of the northeast states so today we have a special section that covers uh the stories of nagaland as well as the colors of the northeast so when did you start your journey as a performer in the early 1990s my elder sisters that is mercy and azi they were requested to sing uh, in school for a traditional folk song and dance so it started from there and then they were requested uh, to perform at durdashan and uh, from there uh, they got so many more requests and then uh, the journey started from there from the school platform then to durdashan then they got many requests from other states and then uh, that's how they took off from uh, a local stage to international stage so who taught you these folk cultures and tradition of nagaland we learned our folk songs and all this uh, stories about our ancestors through our parents our mom uh, was the one who taught us our fo- first folk song our dad was the one who taught us uh, uh, how to play the uh, in- traditional instruments <laughs> gave up your education for music no 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 it's not about giving up anything else for music music has always been there for us as well as education it's not you know like giving up music for anything else our parents has been uh, supporting us since day 
Yeah, and they have always taught us that uh, even uh, if it's a hobby or something that you like, you have to be, uh, you have to do well at uh, what you do. So uh, education also, we all have uh, our graduations in different fields of education. Mercy, she's a master's in, uh, in psychology from Indrapasta, that is Delhi University. And Azif, uh, master's from, from, a master's from philosophy. And uh, our brother from commerce. And uh, our sister Kovella, from master's from um, LSR Delhi. And uh, I just finished my MBBS, so I'm uh, technically a doctor now. But music uh, is what has been uh, keeping us together as a family as well. And also, uh, uh, it has become a responsibility for us to pass on this uh, special music that has come from our ancestor, something which we can call ourselves. So, and. Uh, something which we want to leave as a legacy for the younger generations. Because I believe that in today's society, the young generations has, has forgotten about the past, our identity and our roots. So how was the experience of singing for the first time at that age? Uh, it was very special for all of us. Can you imagine a toddler who is like two years old? Everybody was uh, very appreciative and they loved that a family, uh, siblings of uh, sisters and a brother coming together to sing on a... Uh, on stage was a special treat for all of them. How is Nagaland so rich and diverse in the culture? Uh, I think it's about um, a special blessing from God because uh, we are all blessed with music, especially uh, if we say uh, the st state of uh, Nagaland. Uh, everybody is surrounded by music. Everybody can play an instrument or sing. So um, it's music that has chosen us. And we believe that this is uh, not a profession, but uh, something that we love and something that we want to keep doing. Can you tell us more about Nagaland? I mean, if I may ask, what is Nagaland? Please come to Nagaland if you want to experience Nagaland, if you want to know about Nagaland, because there is so much you need to know about Nagaland, about the people, about the stories of the people, the food, the culture, the traditions of the people. And we do have the Hornbill Festival, which is an annual music festival where you get to uh, experience all the different tribes of the people together in one uh, spot at Kisama Heritage Village. So that's one opportunity for the people to come and experience and know about Nagaland. What is music to you artists? So uh, music is uh, uh, not just uh, about music, but it also tells a story about uh, the origin of the people. Music tells about harvest, about love songs, about the history of the people. So uh, that's how music is also uh, interconnected with uh, our culture and our heritage. So what is special about the tribal people? If it comes to tribals, I believe that it's not just about Northeast. There are so many tribes in different countries as well. And uh, uh, the special thing about tribal people is uh, we are very traditional. We have our culture. We ha have our traditional weaves, the traditional uh, ornaments that we wear. Everything that we wear and do tells a story. I mean, that's the, your identity, right? Whether you are living in the past or in the future or present, uh, you, where you come from, your root is your identity. So what instrument do you play? We play different instruments, uh, traditional in instruments. This one is called the tati. Uh, the tati is the one string instrument, which is made from, um, one is made from the gourd, and this one is made from the mitin horn. So the name tati comes uh, from the sound it makes. That is tati. In the age of technology, what steps are you taking to 
preserve your culture, your tradition. So uh, all these years we have been trying to do our bit in preserving and promoting our culture. So we have gone digitally as well and on, we are on all online platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And we also have our website and our YouTube channel which tells the story of our people. It has our traditional songs and uh, documentations of our journey. So you can connect with us on uh, Tetsuo Sisters to know more about our people, our story and what we are doing to help uh, promote our culture. तो देखा आपने टेक्नोलॉजी के वक्त में कल्चर को बचाने कितना जरूरी हो जाता है तो फॉलो कीजिए तात्सो सिस्टर्स के सोशल मीडिया पेजेस को अपडेट रहिए उनके आने वाले अगले लाइव शोज को लेकर अगर आपके पास भी ऐसी अनसंग स्टोरीज है तो नीचे कमेंट बॉक्स में हमारी ईमेल आईडी पे मेल कीजिए इस अनसंग स्टोरी को शेयर करें ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुँच सके या ऐसी अनसंग स्टोरीज को विटनेस करने के लिए अनसंग इंडिया फाउंडेशन चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए जय हिंद चल मिलेंगे